so they are occupying a <coughs> substantial amount of volume so 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 does the volume available for free movement does the volume available for free movement of gases is is what is v minus n b where n is the number of moles hold on hold on i'm sorry this is number of moles sorry just correct this this is number of moles right b is again a constant right b is a constant that gets multiplied by this and it will tell you how, by by how much it will change right so that will depend on the on the size of the gaseous particle <coughs> so that's why it is a constant that varies with with the with the gases right so what happens to our what happens to our e ideal v ideal is equal to nrt equation it becomes it becomes t real plus an square upon v square into v minus nb is equal to nrt okay what is a and what is b what does this is called this is this is a very important equation this is called van der waals gas equation okay gas <coughs> equation so this is actually the real gas equation right van der waals equation so how will you Hmm? No, that that can be told for gases. You see, uh, the values of A and B will be given to you. And how do you know it? How do you know it? Whatever is the whatever is the p ideal that you are expecting at that point of time, whatever is the real that you are you are measuring, okay, at that volume. so so you you get b uh, v uh, the value of b and then a right so so it is easy to calculate n remains the number of moles what is a a is the a is a constant and what will it depend on how attractive see the the different different gas particles they might be they might have different intermolecular attractions when they come together so higher the intermolecular attraction more will be the value of a okay so so a will depend on let me write it a depends on the intermolecular attractive force the intermolecular attractive forces between the particles between the particles higher the higher the attractive force attractive force higher is the value of a higher is the value of a
Now what happens? So at high pressure, what happens? The intermolecular forces become significant, right? <clears throat> so at, at higher pressures, the particles are so close to each other that they are able to they are able to show those intramolecular forces. Okay? So, so their deviation from the real behavior will become higher. Correct? Now at lower temperature, the particles are moving slowly. Their, their speed goes down. Okay? Because, because I told you that the the kinetic energy of a particle is equal to 3 upon 2 k b t. <coughs> so as t goes down, your k, that means the velocity is going down. Correct. As the root of the temperature, no? Because, because this will be kind of half m v square is equal to 3 upon 2 k b t. So v is equal to is equal to 3 upon m k b t root over mass remains a constant, k b is a constant, Boltzmann's constant. What is this? This is Boltzmann's constant. Okay? That's Boltzmann's constant. So this whole thing is a constant, right? So 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 this root over three upon m k b into root t. So that becomes k into root t. Correct. So the velocity varies as root of the absolute temperature right Ro root of the of the temperature in kelvin correct understand do we get the point so so as i am reducing my temperature the particles are moving ever slowly and what happens while crossing each other suddenly they may be captured by the other particle okay when they were moving very fast so it comes in for a fraction of a second and before it is able to pull them out, the inertia keeps them moving, right? But here they, there could be a capture, understand, at low temperature. That means at lower temperature and at a higher pressure, there will be a significant deviation from the ideal behavior, right? <coughs> so. So at low temperature, and high pressure, there is a significant deviation from the ideal behavior. That means, uh, that means the higher temperature and the lower pressure will be more favorable towards the ideal behavior of the gases. No? Uh, higher uh, at high temperature. and low pressure the deviation from the ideal behavior is 
is less. That is, the gases tend to behave ideally at high temperature and low pressure, right? Thus, gases tend to behave ideally at, at low pressure and high temperature. Fine. We get that point? <clears throat> 